Hello, everyone. I want to welcome you to a Christianity Explain talk show. Uh, this is going to be my first Ask Me Anything uh, question. And, right? Okay. I just have a fellow named, I believe it is a gentleman named Desire, who asked the question. I just wanted to get an idea. All right. He said he had to run off to a hospital uh, to work. <laughs> um, the plan was to answer a couple of questions. So I got two. I'm open to other possibility, possible questions. But since they were both disability related, I think it uh, would be a good idea to explain a few things. First, the goal is to answer some questions that you guys, especially the new viewers, have about me. And I'm sure there are some questions that uh, stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> so I'll, I'll do my best to answer that, along with the issue of faith, and even some questions about how I do have YouTube and all that fun stuff. And we'll see how it goes. Now, before I can answer either uh, Josiah or Ava's question, I need to sh share what the first one uh, that probably is asked. <laughs> uh, what, what up with the eyes, the ears, and that? Black folk. It's actually not an unusual question, and it's perfectly okay. I don't get offended by that. <laughs> you see, when I was born, uh, I was born in 1964. Yeah, I'm not young. <laughs> My mother was exposed to someone with German rubella, uh, German measles or rubella. So I have... Uh, developed while I was in my mother's womb, something called congenital rubella. Hm. Hello. Ah. Wait. Hi, Ava. You're just in time. Yes, I'm just, the stream just started. I'm just trying to give a little background to what my disabilities are. So then I can easily answer yours and was and Josiah's question, all right? And I've just explained that when my mom was exposed to rubella, I had some, what they call congenital rubella. It affected the optic nerve of both of my eyes. That's why I'm very nearsighted. In fact, folks, if you may have noticed, if you're watching this video, that I have to do this That's because I am nearsighted. It's hard for me to see in the chat screen. Don't worry. It's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> and I'm thankful that I don't have too many people streaming. On a game stream, I'll be going like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will get to uh, other questions that I know get common because it has a lot to do with how I do my job as a content creator. And that is, how the heck I read? How do I? I'll deal with that later. But I am nearsighted. My glass, I see with my glasses, 2200. In other words, somebody who can see something 200 feet away, I have to be like 20 feet to actually see the detail. It, yeah, that's what these glasses. And I was born with that, with that type of vision. My hearing, it's like a um, moderate to severe hearing loss mix. This year, it's a lot better. This other year, not so great. <laughs> and of course, I was born in 64, so we didn't have all the extra wonderful uh, medical advancement that might have helped. Who knows? Now, uh, 
have some other minor things, but it's uh, not important. Let me see what he was saying. <laughs> uh, well, boy, do I got a surprise for you, Ava. <laughs> you might think that these, um, I use this for reading. Mm, no, this is for general seeing. Uh, wait. Oh, goodies. I knew from. Oh. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh. Okay, I did not understand. Does our, does our, do our illustrious brother uh, Sam realize that uh, I'm a charismatic Christian, not um, a Catholic? Hmm. <laughs> but I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm get, I, I'm going to guess because I was on his stream a couple of times. He has uh, some kind of vision problem like me. Wow. I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> oh, but I'm thankful for that. Oh. Well, and as you guys may know, uh, and I suspect I'm probably dealing with some parents here on my stream. Uh, <laughs> and that is, yes, it is very difficult to raise a child when he or she has serious disability like that. And not really knowing, like, okay, how do we raise them? But fortunately, my parents raised me to be very independent. Okay, Barry had to function on his own. He had to do things because he can't. This is 1964, guys, and 1966, not 2020. <laughs> A very different world. So, and that was the view. And they were told, oh, there wasn't much of a future. Uh, my parents are very, very individual, strong mind, will, things like that. With, and, and, and basically a typical Italian. So, yes, I am an Italiano. <laughs> and... That's probably another reason. Well, wait, I forgot. Sam. <laughs> so that's the fun part. Raised up in Penn, and yes, I was raised as a nominal Catholic. Uh, and wait, and here's the fun part. At the age of seven, I that uh, what I remember and how I'm thinking. I started reading my own Bible, and it was the King James that my mother. I uh, gave him. Folks, I just want to see who is coming in. Wow, cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's the beauty of this. Um, in fact, I always get a kick out of out of certain Protestant evangelists who say, oh, wait, you're a Catholic? You never, oh, you didn't read. Really? <laughs> I didn't know that. Actually, unfortunately, at that time, a lot of Catholics were not encouraged to read the Bible. Me? The odd man. I was always the odd guy. And I also had the blessing of something that a lot of young people take for granted today, and that is the audio book. If you don't know, there's something called the New Jersey uh, Talking Book Library for the Blind. And and physically handicapped, they provide, uh, especially the Bible and other books on back LP records, cassettes. Now you can probably hear it on other ways. I had the benefit of those things uh, way in advance. Beautiful. Now, what about my face? Uh, I had no problem believing in God. I, I've learned as I was reading the Bible and in the King James. Now, I would never recommend the King James translation 
for a, a beginner. <laughs> no. <laughs> that book, as much as I enjoyed it, was also very frustrating. I'm thankful that my third grade teacher was able to help me with some of the strange words. Thou art and thee. I really didn't know what the heck. <laughs> oh, guys. Yes. <laughs> and I... And yes, I also read that Sam Tremont's uh, dream where he made some good wisecrack about the King James being the uh, Bible that Jesus and the disciples used. <laughs> Yes, I remember that. But that was the fun part with me. And that formed the foundation of my faith, of what what was what. I was actually free from all the traditions and everything. I, there was a lot of stuff I didn't even know about Catholicism. So I grew up with a saying, I appreciate the beginning part. Later, I came to a saving phase in Christ. That is, I went from having a head knowledge to saying, Jesus, I praise you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I need you because I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> I didn't have a full understanding as I do today, and I'm sure there are people way more than I. That's my faith foundation. Now, what some of the question. Let me um do I have the banners? Okay. Uh Josiah, I want to try to answer his question. Uh because he was asking about uh mental health. What I thought if I remember correctly, he was saying he wanted to hear my view on mental health and medication for anxiety, oh, for anxiety uh, regarding its proper place and, and not being an idol. Yes, I am not, okay. <laughs> Boy, you're gonna love this and I'll make this uh, quick and simple. I know you have only so much time and that's it. I did suffer from depression. Yes, I suffered from depression and extreme amount of anxiety and fear. Fear that I wouldn't measure up. Fear and anxiety because uh, even though I was nearsighted, I wasn't totally blind. I could see that, wow, other people were able to do this. Why, why not me? And I couldn't see that. And I'm being... Uh, <laughs> figurative, not literal. That okay, there really is a difference, and my, and I had to be handled, taken care of differently. And it was creating problem. My dad, who had difficulty, uh, to a certain extent, and even my parents, mom said, "Oh, you're just like everyone else." Well, I could see there was different, and there were other problems that were going on. It created a whole lot of anxiety and fear. I used to have nightmares uh, about uh, because of the intense fear. So yeah, I could understand the mental health and never mind the abuse that I had in the summer. In fact, I actually wrote a book uh, detailing all that stuff. You can find it in the description of my of this video in the stream. Uh, it's actually my first book. I can't really use the actual name because of YouTube algorithm and it's uh but you'll get it when you uh you'll get you'll get the point of what was going on. I really did think that badly. So and that's how that was my exposure to the issue of mental health. And from my own study of the issue of mental health had been that a lot of depressions and anxieties are based on a lot of of negative things that we see that we think believe about ourselves, what we how we see the world around us. And I thought the world was hostile towards people like myself. 
in such a way like to say, oh, you don't deserve to have a life. You don't deserve. And it was frustrating. So, and in the process, my brain was creating these special chemicals called ser serotonin. I think you might know the name word better than I. This, and that was having a negative effect on my body. Because I, if I remember my study on the topic correctly, serotonin doesn't just sit here in the brain. It also affects your, the rest of your uh, physical body, and it also affects your soul as well in a way that you don't uh, realize. You probably know this uh, better than I since you deal with mental health. <sighs> I didn't have to deal with drugs. But the way I learned to overcome it, once I found out, uh, I'm gonna, it's gonna seem like I'm sidestepping, it's not. But the anxiety uh, thing I had, it actually was caught, it was actually an anxiety disorder that was causing me to have seizures. And I would blank out. It was called grand mal petite. And I didn't even know what it was. So one day, I, when I found out that it was the intense fear, anxiety, I started to do some investigation over time and learn that how to deal with it. I had to learn, okay, I'm in bondage. I need to change things. I need to learn to put my trust in the Lord. I needed to immerse myself in the Word of God in such a way to help me uh, to overcome those uh, meant those negative thinking. That's why battlefield of the mind. I know it's not popular with evan evangelical, but however, I'm thankful for that book because it thought, it laid some of the foundation I needed. So when I did end up reading the Word of God, it would help. Hmm, that's how important that book was. I got another book. I'm uh, winning, oh, yeah, winning the war of your mind. Uh, I forget the uh, author's name. I'm looking at doing a review of that book. So I, I am a believer in that stuff. As and because I was already uh, making progress in overcoming my depression and anxiety, all that, I didn't need to to go on these happy pills and drugs. So I'm thankful for that. And once I started letting the Holy Spirit replace the negative memory, the pain, the trauma, and heal me of that, my brain was able to produce more dopamine, healthy kind of dopamine, not just the one created by the like button. That allowed me to have a changed mindset and change. So my mind really was being renewed by the reading of the word, having positive, healthy experiences that uh, that destroyed the lies that I was believing. And doing the work, doing all those things. And as for drugs, these drugs, I'm more of a believer of this. I see them as more as a crutch. And a crutch is supposed to be temporary. You're not supposed to stay on it. That's what I hate about the drug. <laughs> that they seem designed to be just stuck on it. I'm like, no, temporary, okay. Uh, long term, no. You have to do the work to overcome. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck on it. That's the only objection I have to those things. Yes, I do believe that God is able to deliver uh, you from that. But I still feel you have to do the work. Otherwise, you're going to end up being right there. Uh, I don't know if that's the kind of answer. But yes, I try to have a balance with that. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I, I appreciate that, Ava. I appreciate it. And you know what? I am, and 
I can tell you this. What God did for me, he healed my heart. And if you ever look at that book I wrote, and it's in the, uh, the link is in the description, you're going to discover God did some wonderful work on the heart that, uh, yes, I just did a very lousy job of marketing. Now, let's move on. Ah, whoop. All right, let me do this. Uh, you know, ah, here we go. For Ava's uh, question about what lessons I'm learning so much. <laughs> uh, let's see, how do I point? Well, I'm learn. I've been learning daily that God has is my provider. He is my confidence that I can count on Him in spite of my challenges than that, that I need not be afraid, that I can learn, because if I didn't have these uh, challenges, I probably would not have learned that I can count on God, because I was raised to be very independent. My family was very strong, independent, all that. So I probably needed things like this to help. There were other problems that were going on, um, it probably I did more to keep me out of trouble than it did than anything else. So these things were actually more of a blessing, not a problem or a prison, as some people uh, uh, characterize it. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Did that is that what you were uh, looking for, Ava? Mm. All right. Now, I know another question I probably will be asking if I came across somebody talking about this, and that's this. How the heck does somebody like me manage to uh, do... Hold on, I'm going to see. Oh, yeah, wow. Oh, glad to help. Uh, yeah. Now, I know one question I would have asked if I came on a stream like this is, okay, how did this guy manage to do his YouTube videos? And did he say something about a book? How did someone who's very nearsighted? Well, first, I'm nearsighted in terms of what I can see distant. But when I read a book, um, I'm going to use something like my Kindle Fire, which allows me, oh, belief. I will show you, which allowed me to read text like this more easily. And that's one of the nice things about reading uh, a digital book. And yes, that helps a lot, and it also helps that I can get, uh, if I get audio narration or audio book from Audible. <laughs> Both of them are very helpful in far as the reading goes. And as for the Bible, yes, I have one like that, or I can use uh, the My Bible, Bible app on my uh, tablet here which I also use for reading and sometimes studying if I don't want to sit in front of this computer all day and study a, a scripture. I have two digital libraries like Largo Scholars Library. That's the research part. The way as for uh, my guests and people needing to do streams or even recording, videos and I have my guests, like I've had my friend Dina help me out with some of the video teachings I did. Or my buddy uh, Randy Johnson, who is a pastor in uh, South Carolina. He was a, uh, a real help. I, I'm using this platform right now 
which is StreamYard, the third party platform that allowed me to bring in guests easily. It also has some accessibility keys so I could switch and bring in. Now, there are some things I can't do easily, but thanks to uh, this setup, um, I can. That's why some of you have been watching. If you didn't catch it at the beginning, because of my eyes, I, I had to look at, closer at the screen. It's not a big deal. But I also know, for people who don't know what's going on, okay. <laughs> it, but, all right, but that, that's the thing. Now, recording the video, StreamYard does allow uh, to do that, but uh, for me, I'll use a, a video editor, and I'm sitting in front of my uh, webcam and record that way. And because I can magnify or do whatever, it allows me to do record and do some editing. Now, is it going to be as great as somebody who has much greater vision? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be there, but others may be able to do better than me. It's okay. I'm finding that, uh, that as I learned, thanks to my time with Video Ranking Academy and seeing my skills get better and better and learning, there's so much more. <laughs> but that is really the simple part. <laughs> and yet, sometimes I, and I do have to have friends who can help uh, me out. In the future, if I had to deal with a heavy stream, I'll probably be calling my friend Wendy Coop or somebody I know who I can have as a guest and and monitoring the stream for me because she knows what she's doing. <laughs> That's the other benefit uh, that I I get I've had is that I have circles of friends that I know uh, who are brothers and sisters in Christ who can be a help in different ways. How some of the friends in my church can help in other ways because not everyone is called to this kind of ministry. And that's really what this is, an online ministry. That is both exciting and interesting. And, hmm, oh, wow, all right, no problem. I wanted to see how things were going. I wanted to see what's going on here. Oh, yes. Hmm. Hmm. All right, okay. Thanks for uh, coming. I appreciate that. <laughs> yep. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> I can do stuff with like that. I called your attention. All right. But see, that's what it is. And I hope this kind of video helped you guys uh, who, who do come on this stream and looking. Am I planning to do things uh, up in the future? Yes. I found out from my stats that uh, the things that do well, and I had to confirm with some friends that book reviews, uh, especially reacts in the books, uh, do well, especially some theology stuff. Hmm. Uh, perhaps some uh, talk to interview and that. But for whatever reason, Bible study, okay. Oh, yes, and speaking of Bible study, I didn't think of this one earlier, but I probably, uh, well, this is probably the best place to do it. <laughs> and that's it. You might be wondering, um, to what my uh, background, what qualifies me to... Teach the word of God. Am I a pastor or things like that? Well, unlike uh, Sam Simone, uh, an ap a Catholic apologist, uh, apologetic, or Rod Sor 
Saunders, who is also an apologetic, but for word of faith, unlike those guys, I don't have a seminary background. My study is the things I did on my own, through reading the word, spending time in it, doing some study, reading some commentaries, and things like that over time. And it's the spirit that's been helping me. However, I would never think to go get behind the pulpit and try to act like a forget it. <laughs> no, that is not my calling. I have a part for sharing the word insights into scripture. Yes, that is true, and that's a good thing. But it has, but I have to do it in the term of what God has done for me and through me and sharing things that has, that has had to help. That's why I tend to focus on a lot of inner healing stuff. In fact, if you read my old blog site, which I was doing since 2009, is when I actually started the last real one I did to 2014 or 15, you will see a whole bunch of inner healing stuff uh, on there. The reason was because God healed my heart and I was overcoming so much. And that's what I was sharing. That was the adversities I had to deal with. And I praise God for what he had done. And I give him, I give Jesus all the glory for that. And I'm glad. That's the reality. I think uh, God came to head. I had to help my mother. Had a uh, short time burnout or whatever, come back in 2020, and I felt like getting more into YouTube at the time. And I do feel for a lot of young YouTubers who come on doing online Christian ministry. Hmm. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so that really was it. But but figuring out, okay, what to do? <laughs> I had more than a few people say, Bab, focus on people with disabilities. Okay, exactly what do you mean? Bab, what about, oh, you like the Bible? Go in the niche. I'm sorry, but there really is no such thing as a niche for called Christianity. Christian we are, is a world Christianity, worldview, Christianity, Christian community, but we have specific interest area. Like, I love reading books and are humans. I do like reading theology, and I do want to point to books and material that actually help Christians uh, with their walk. That's why I reviewed the uh, Systematic Theology by Wayne Gruden uh, some time ago because it was uh, beginning to help, because I found out I needed it. That's why I reviewed uh, Confidence, Humility uh, by Dan Kent. <laughs> he actually has a different theology than me, uh, but the book was helpful, and I appreciate it. I got a, uh, a book um, that I'm planning to review, Jen, from Jen Wilkins, I believe, and J.T. English called You of the Theologian, what you are a theologian. <laughs> Plan to review, uh, review that. It was actually a fun book. And it and those two are on the other side. <laughs> they, they're complementarian, they, meaning uh, men and women are both created in the same image, calling and everything. And at least one is a Baptist. So, hmm, wait. <laughs> oh. But that's the beauty. And yes, there are a whole bunch of other stuff I plan. And I feel like that is good. Am I going to try doing actual Bible study? Not so much, because when I done do it, they don't do well for uh, whatever reason. Perhaps people feel like uh, they'd rather 
have their path to uh, do than some guy on YouTube. I get that. And most people want to be polite. They want to be nice. <laughs> mm. Okay, I get it. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> We're not all called to do the same thing. I'm not a ca an apologetic person. So I probably won't do the same thing Sam does. Uh, he is the, a Catholic apologetic. Or uh, <laughs> uh, Justin Peters, who I guess he does apologetics and that. Um, I'm not sure what. I don't know how to characterize them. Or Ross Saunders. That's their department. They do great. I might react to someone like Mike Winger uh, and that. He does more Bible teaching, which I think is good. But those are the things. I plan to do some interviews of, of people I know of and have some fun conversation, which is the CE talk show. This is probably great for this sort of stuff. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure. Uh, let me see if I can find out how much time. Oh, yeah. I think I talked long enough. All right. I think I did talk long enough, and I'll wrap up. Uh, <laughs> hey, if you didn't get a chance to answer a question in the, in the scene of replay, sorry, but love to hear from you and hear what you have to say about the stuff already covered. I think I covered what two people asked and what uh, other questions that I might have asked. <laughs> Hope you enjoy, and yes, and have a blessed day, and God bless. Okay, let me... Phew. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah.